I know, we're crazy. Hello, it's Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler. I wish I could unschool as devoutly as I am Catholic. <laughs> Working on it. However, it is 10 minutes to five at night and I am headed out like a crazy woman. I'm about to drive 40 minutes one way, which will probably take longer because of traffic, just to take my son, my son, to the skate park. Yes. Why am I doing this so late at night? Because, you know, I feel bad. I'm getting Miffy's food ready. Here it is. Before we leave. Usually my daughter does it, but I'm going to do it so we can get out of here. I don't even know what I'm doing because this plate is in here, not in there. And I'm going to sit at the skate park inside for three hours. It's better than six, which we've usually done. And... I am all of a sudden leaving. Where are you? Yes, because we're crazy like that. All right. You know, I, ha I have to leave my I have to leave my baby pickle home, who is Sarah. All right, and uh, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Sorry, it's all dark in here. Oh my gosh, he needs pellets. Huh? No matter what Oh yes, I know. All right, now listen. Right, I want to apologize. Can you guys see me? Not really, huh? Oh. All right, I'm a little crooked, but I'm a little crooked anyway. But I want to say that I did not know. I did get back to some people. I got to do pellets. Hold on a second. I don't know where anything is. Ooh, I'm dropping everything over. I think they've been really shocked tonight. But listen, right? I've been getting back to some people about this, but I did not know because I'm not that bright when it comes to notifications and getting back to people. I always thought that... The notifications, you know, I have a little button at the top of the computer that tells me when they're coming in and when I can respond to people. And my husband's like, oh, did you know this person got to you? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I had no idea. So please, I am so sorry. I would never ignore anybody like that. And if I get more um, comments from people that I, than I can handle, I think I would be the type of person that would take, I'm gonna put my shoes on, hold on. So I think I would take a day off and I would, instead of making a video, I would skip that and I would make, you know, my comments, my replies. So I'm sorry, that's so rude, but I didn't mean it, I didn't. I really didn't. It's such a good feeling to know I'm alive. Or oh, you're alive, or oh, we're alive, it is. I wake up every day and I'm so glad that I'm here again. I am. I'm so glad. There's a big glare there. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm very excited. I'm excited to know everyone. I'm excited to know you. Getting to know all about you. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. It's way off key and it's not the right word. I'm sorry. I'm in a big hurry. I have to be there in an hour. <sighs> all right. So maybe, I don't know. I'm not even going to write over there. I'm just, I can't believe I'm going out right now because it's not really my yeah. style. Yeah. What time are you going to be going to? Mm, it ends at quarter of nine. I'll be home like, I don't know, 930-ish. Then I think I have to go to the store. I might have to go to the store. Oh my gosh, my good friend Heather and I are going to have a poetry and tea time at her house tomorrow. And I have to, I don't have to, but I want to desperately make her something good. And it involves tahini and cabbage. Why? Because it is good for you. Both of it is. It's wonderful. And anything that's wonderful, I love it. My house is still messy. You know what? It's just life. Right? You're going to have to deal with it. You take the good, you take the bad, you take the both, and there you have the facts of life. <sighs> the facts of life. There's a time you got to go and show you grow, and now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. When the world never seems to be living up to your dreams, and suddenly you're finding out... Ugh, the facts of life are all about you. You. Learning the facts of life. <laughs> Let me get some spring water. Or seltzer water. This is my Canadian water. You want to see what I got? Look. 
See, I think of my Canadian friends. There we go. I'm ready. Rachel, I think she's outside. I gotta get my handbag. I gotta get my neck, my scarf because you know why? Because, oh my gosh, did you guys see my, my earmuffs? I'm not gonna wear them tonight. I'll wear them when I go shoveling and whatnot, but they're so awesome. Look at this. I'll put them on for you right now. Oh, <laughs> wanna come say hi? I'm talking to myself. All right, look. Sure I'm gonna eat. Look at my new earmuffs. You didn't even see. Oh, those are nice. I know. Wow, they. And they're only four bucks. I got them on sale. I love sales. Look, see. That's not bad. Oh, that's so helpful. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. It's such a good feeling to know. All right, I got water and I don't need anything else. I'll see you guys later. What can Sarah eat? I don't know. Whatever she wants. I'm not gonna get you. <laughs> All right. Hey, I like seals. You can take that basket downstairs and do laundry. And doll. All right, lock the store. Bye. Okay. It's dark. And we're going out. We're starting. Yeah. That's the beauty hey, of it. Hey, yes. He has to come in and shut down his room. Oh. Sethy! Yeah. Go shut the door. I mean, the lights off in your room. Where's Rachel? Okay. But see, this is the beauty of being a stay at home mother, if you can. And this is the beauty of unschooling. Because who has to wake up to go anywhere tomorrow? We don't. <laughs> but if you do, there's ways that you can go around certain things in your life too. And I didn't take the cord. I'll be right back. All right. No, come with me. Because we're running around together like crazy people. All right. We need the charger. Uh oh. Where's my tip? Uh oh. Seth? Do you have my tip? You gave it to me? Okay, someone has my tip. And I see the culprit now. What? Nothing. All right. She's not all. Oh, that's pretty sad. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, ciao. Ciao, Maine. Ciao, Maine. Okay, let's go be crazy. Woohoo! Crazy together. Get your scooter. Okay, I'm going to say this prayer a little slower because I think there is somebody out there that wants to know how it goes. So here we go. Coin collector, this is for you. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. And you can always find that. Uh, there will be different versions. I like that one because it's older. And anything older I like. You can always Google that. Uh, just the St. Michael prayer. Um, what's today? Wednesday? Is this Wednesday? All right, the sorrowful mystery. No, the glorious mysteries. We're thinking about Jesus rising from the dead. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Grant, we pray that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay, we're home. I'm back at the office again, but this time I'm not working. I don't want to. Okay.